Turn this on. Oh, hey! Look. <coughs> you know what this is. See the color? Rich, but it's not rich, but it's mango juice. And you can tell it's really good because you see. Hmm? It makes interest. Okay, look. Uh, you know who's you know who's been off the off the, off the radar for a bit? My the greatest source of my AD is why I should say that. No. Black Fuhrer. I love Black Fuhrer. I don't care what y'all think of Black Fuhrer. I personally love Black Fuhrer. So he sent me a little note. Not a note through the thing, whatever have you. And I, of course. Uh, it's okay, look at that. But then I saw a notification. Some other people, um, um, some other people had done some other stuff. You know, whatever, they, whatever they done did, right? And so somebody wrote us something here. Let me see if I can find this person's uh, person's uh, thing. Here, oh here, terms. Oh, she asked a question. I, maybe it's not a she. I I don't know why. I think it's a she, but I think it's she. Uh, it's, um, I don't usually do names, but just in case. Sleepy CCS. See what I mean? Sleepy CC doesn't really sound like a dude. You know what I mean? Sleepy sounds more like a, you know, gentle. You know? Okay, anyway. She says, I, I, this is what, I, I guess this is from a, a thing I posted up. Oh, the, the uh, I just posted up a thing on uh, the Congressional Black Caucus is a conspiracy theory. You know, when I wear my conspiracy hat? And it talks about like, you know, hey, they got it in for us, whatever. So, so anyway, this um, uh, this person, I don't know if she's, I guess she's talking to me because she's, so my thing, and she says, oh, could you do a show on the use of trick bag, that's in quotes, of trick bag terms like people of color, minority, and African American? None of these terms specifically uh, specify ADOS. Okay, I guess she you've actually answered your question already, but I do want to say something, right? Because these terms, oh, I should have left it open. These terms, in fact, I did a thing on 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 on, on terms before, but let me say this. Uh, first of all, you see, I have my big dictionary out. I did a program one time, right? What I did was I went through try, uh, the debt, the debt thing. I was trying to find the word in here. Okay, let me tell you something. A lot of stuff, sometimes I do stuff, I do it on purpose, you know what I mean? So I spent a lot of time going through a dictionary looking for the word, right? When I could have just, I had my device right here, I could have just, you know, did, 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 and whatever it is. So I wanted to show, basically, and I'm giving you some secrets, right? Let me give you all the secrets, right? So basically I want to show the old school way, but here's the thing, when you do it this way, you do it this way. But when you open a dictionary, right? When you open a dictionary, and you got, this is six columns, right? And you got these words, like you see, this, this word, um, anybody, let me take a big one here. This section here, right? It's got, the word is uh, distinguish. And they've got six, like six, six uh, examples of distinguish, you know? But, th but that's not the point. So say you're looking for that word distinguish, right? And because it's six columns, you know what I mean? You might find, uh, like, 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 all of a sudden you see another word, you know, disrupt, dis disruptive. You say, hey, I can use that word. Or you, might see, you see what I'm saying? So the dictionaries, of, I used to love dictionaries, mainly because, look, I wasn't, a, I, I'm still not a very good speller, right? And actually, I started writing poetry a long time ago just to deal with, the, with, with that stuff. And I love dictionaries. I mean, when I write poetry, I'm looking up a word, I would see a word, then I would look and find these other words. And that's the part of the adventures of old school ways of doing it, rather than being precise. You want to go straight to the point. Hey, let's, 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 let's get the answer. You understand, but the, the, the journey is there. Like, for instance, let me give you an idea. Show you what I'm talking about. I gotta do something else right now, but show you what I'm talking about. Now you see, all the time I have these rituals. I have a different hat for for different for different things. It's, my wife's a designer; she made this hat. In fact, I'm gonna take this with me to the states because I like this particular hat. Let me show you what she did. And my little contribution. She designed the hat. It's like a they call it a welder's hat, right? But if you look on the inside, you see that little strip there. There's a, a little strip, a towel-like strip right there. Well, I had her put that in there. It's, it's vanished when you know you you talk to the design director. I had to put that in there because I sweat a lot. I mean, I, I mean, I sweat. I mean, I have no problems because I think I'm healthy only because nothing stays in me. F flu, bye. But bye. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Anyway, so this helps me tremendously because of the because of the sweat. 
Too bad I didn't happen to make another hat like that. Anyway, so that's one thing, right? But here's the thing. So I have a, a different, I used to have different hats, right? But I try to stay, I have different hats. I wear the glasses, not because, of, okay, this is an interesting story. When I was very young, when I was about six, seven, eight years old, I, I'm, I talk a lot now. When I was young, I didn't talk. I would just look at people. I be, it's weird. Be, you know what this, the little look was like? It's like that uh, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman look. You know, if you see, see the, 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 the Drill in Manila, you know, the, the DRC, oh, well, at the time I hear, uh, thing, what happened was you can see Muhammad Ali, and it, you know, he's just looking at Foreman. He's like, you can see, he's figuring out, I'm gonna I'm a fig, I'm gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna do something. And that's the way I was. I would always just look, I would look at that. And it would be a family gathering. People would, I had so many people come to me when I was young, saying, don't look at me. Please, do, you st don't stop looking at me. And maybe they thought it was a demon whatever happened. But it's interesting because one of my favorites, I know I'm meandering as usual, one of my favorite stories, that's another thing I do, I meander, right? It's because it's on video. I mean, you know, you, most people don't even watch my video, so it doesn't really matter. But you can, at, at some future day, you can go and say, hey, wait a second, what did he say about that? And then get, get to, anyway. So back to about, what was that? I was at the classes, right? So, so what happens is um, because of the eyes, I, I, for a long time, I wouldn't look at people, you know, until you got older and you have to, some, you know, if I'm doing a real business thing, I will look somebody directly in the eye, but usually I do not look at people's eyes, you know? And I think there's a story by uh, Henry Dumas, one of my favorite writers in the whole entire world. Uh, uh, it's called, um, is it the Fawn one? It's Fawn, I think it's Fawn, where, you know, it's the eye thing again. Man, I'm good. Henry, Henry Dumont. Back to the point. Okay, so I have glasses on inside, usually only because I don't want you looking at my eyes. I actually want you to hear what I'm saying. But the other thing, but then if you're listening, this is the podcast, you can just do, do your work, whatever have you. But here's the other thing. When uh, this, 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 my talking into the camera has, has several alliterations here, and, 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 and while I'm here in, in South Africa, I started the YouTube channel a long time ago, but I started posting these kind of things in 2014. But one first took place in the, in the Fort Hare Library downstairs with uh, Brother Belly. He was off camera too, and I would do a thing with him, you know. But I would, I would play an old man, okay? So I really, I actually like that character. <laughs> then Brother Belly retired, and then I, I put, in my office, I put up a thing. You see, you see the, um, it was the, um, uh, uh, the Honduran flag. I won't get into it right now. I just go to the flag thing. It's understand. Honduran flag was in the background, but I always have the five stars right, right over my head, you know what I mean? Like that. So that was a, it was an office that was a different sound. Then when I got here and I just started because I was here and I, I forgot why I wasn't recording at the office anymore. But then what happened was uh, I had this little space here, my, my office set up here, and I started, you know, putting up my posters and stuff like that. And then, um, and then all of a sudden, a uh, windy, shh, 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 quiet. Uh, our puppy got in. <laughs> He's just starting to talk. And anyway, Oh boy, I believe you. Uh, so, so anyway, so, so what happens is I start to build this desk. Then when ADOS came out, I start to make the desk of the ADOS. Um, so it starts to build up, build up, build up, build up, build up from there. But here's the thing. Um, I think what happens with anything, when, when I think of dictionary, I always think of Malcolm X. So if you understand dictionary, just go to the Malcolm X thing. Okay, let me stop meandering, let me get to the point. So, the thing about language is that, or the English language, is that these terms like African American, we have, it was more, as our consciousness, there's a certain part in, in the black community, in the AUS community, there's a consciousness, and the conscious people, they make decisions, and then if it hits, it hits. Like I had, um, I was talking about Henry Dumas, Loretta Dumas, uh, once told me, she, she said, Anthony, you know, you are the first person that I know that Afri actually wrote African American without the hyphen, you know? Um, yeah, this man. And so it's interesting that we pick up these things. Um, uh, the thing about people of color, come on, you know, that's just a political thing, so you don't have to deal with that stuff. Um, I had a term one time. What is it? Is it here? I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh. Anyway, uh, I had a term one time that I used. I can't find it yet. I'll leave it. I won't do that. I'm going to end this video. So what I'm saying, you can make up your own terms. Right? But you should make up your own. Nearly full of juniors says make up your own terms. Hey, the English language, you, hey, think about it. Black people, you, okay, I'll give you, there was a, a New York Daily News headline a long time ago in the 80s. 
It was a uh, it was a uh, uh, W H the Papa Bush. He was getting off a plane, and they had some there was some crowd, some place like that, and they they had um, uh, the, shot the tear gas, whatever have you, and tear gas wafted over to where uh, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush was at, and he was you could see him wiping the tears from his eyes, and then the headline says, "Dist D I S S E D." You know that's a that's an A D S word. You know we made it up. And I don't, you know, or anything you say, uh, our terms 24 7, all, this, all these kind of things, you know, they, 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 you know, it goes into the larger culture. So, what I'm trying to say is, don't use those terms. Use another term. I don't use, there's no need to even know the history because, it, well, you, you can't know the history, but make up your new term. I have a thing like, for instance, I say, I want to show you, I'm, I look, I'm a, oh, wait a second, make this right in here. All right. Right here, like this right here. I can find it. I can find it. I'll show you what I mean. I made up some words. I think they're more accurate than the words that people have. And now I can't find out what that is. Um, okay, I can't find the words. Um, uh, the word, well, the word I made up is uh, like you know, neo means new, and eo. So when they say uh, uh, Neo-colonialist or uh, neoliberal, like that. So I made this term, neo-negro, N-E-O, capital N, E-G-O-R-E-S, right? Neo-negros, and that's what they. So instead of calling somebody an Uncle Tom, instead of calling uh, a uh, a Sambo, right? Uh, somebody made up a term, a uh, uh, Negro whisperer. This is going to, but. I just use a different term. Now the problem is, um, let me tell you something that happened one time. Um, I was uh, in a car with, with Pepsi Charles, and my son was there. And I was saying something, I said, yeah, they're, they're, that's, I said something some innocuous or something like, yeah, they're, that sucks. I mean, that wasn't sucks. Was some, uh, not, and Pepsi said, no, no, we don't say that word. But it was interesting because the word, the, when you substitute a word, you know what I mean, you're substituting a curse word for a more polite word, but you're still using that, your intent is still the curse, that's what I'm saying. So everything is about vibrations to me, right? So if if, if you, if you like for instance, I don't particularly like the word niggas, I don't really use it, you know what I mean? There, another word I never use, you know, for another reason, is like bitch, I just don't use it, you know? So you know, it's not not a prudent, it's never, the vibrations, about some other vibration. Now, some word that I don't use, but I, I, I used to use, I really like, I'll put this way. Samuel L. Jackson's word. I, used to, I, used to, I like that word, you know. But these are words that, that that were made up someplace and usually come from a European kind of thing. And you could just change the words and make up a new word. Neo Negro. I got this thing. I don't want to. I can't say it, but I want. I, I can't find. It. But you know how you, they say mother. You know mother efforts, right? I don't say mother efforts because of the way things are, because of the way culture is. I say father efforts. If I see somebody, okay, never mind. Okay, well. Okay, so what, I'm, what am I saying to, 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 I'm saying it's a woman who wrote the thing. Look, make up your own words and let it become popular in your group. That's what you do in junior high school, rather high school. Don't everybody, do little clicks make up their own words and you have your own language and stuff like that. Same thing, and if it hits, it hits. But I'd say just ignore those, or don't use those words. That's what you do, okay? Anyway, my dogs, she wants to get up on the thing, but uh, let me go tend to her. Uh, yeah, I gotta go tend to the dog, that's me. Being T from the Patterson's taking the transit to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the A D O S. Watch your words, watch your words. The American descendants of chattel slavery. Mm.